Friendly greetings, it's Torley here. Pardon me for the laughs in videos recently, aside from a couple video game ones. <laughs> Productivity killers. I have been oh so studiously working on new music, so it got my heads down. And to support that, you are seeing yes.torley.com. I thought that would be fun. It's actually, my domain is now a Tumblr blog. And I am using the Fluid 2 premium theme, which this video is meant to review. Wanted to take you through a tour of both my blog and how I am using Fluid 2. It's been a few days since the weekend. So, does this mean that I have abandoned my old WordPressy sort of blog? Let me just go there quickly, Ashley. And I think that actually redirects. I forget where that, yeah, <laughs> redirects now. Let me see, come on, if I just, okay. Gee, I did a good job of replacing a lot of it. Well, there's some old pages still up like that, okay. So, <laughs> if you click that, or yeah, it would just redirect to my music, which is the front of what I've got going on. Dream Drone 2, oh, they added Facebook like. Very cool to know that, all right. And then you click here and you end up at yes.torley.com. So let me summarize before getting to the, the product marketing page for this. My favorite number or one of them, the number four. Fluid is pretty cool because unlike a lot of Tumblr themes, you don't even have a sidebar up here, but there are a lot of design best practices which are integrated. The calendar icon may remind you of an Apple sort of style. And here's the responses and click this to like, the heart. So familiar icons are laid out. And what I particularly enjoy is that it's a wide, it's a generous, not overly so, it's a generous visual layout. And it uses, I think it's called a special light box to play videos. So if I click here, you'll notice that it will be like that in a dim. Yeah, yeah, whatever. During my, <laughs> confusing hearing myself. What I don't like about this so far though, is that on longer videos, you were gonna wanna have a scroll bar. And of course, too many controls are cluttery. You don't need to see all the YouTube comments uh, cluttering up the screen unless you're going to reply or something like that. But in the case like this, it's a little too minimalist, but it's neat how things are sized nicely. And when the aspect ratio is a bit off, it does a pretty good job of filling it the rest without unduly cropping it. Another really cool thing I was looking, I know Tumblr, supporting things like when you upload an audio post, a number of themes just lacked the ability to show the cover art. And this is gonna be something I'm gonna be exploring more if you listen to my music. So, like this. And so, of course, this is a standard Tumblr audio playback thing. Consistent with that would be nice to have, like I said, a scroll bar, uh, not, not a vertical scroll bar, but a scrubber, transport controls, minimal at least, not too minimal for video. Fills it out nicely, even adds a little reflection. Those design touches. And so the default styling, the text sans serif, which is different than what I had before. There was one thing that I'm gonna show you a bit later, I hope to remember in which the styling was a bit off and I did, you can manually customize it. And of course, Tumblr, it's cool. You can embed flash, in this case, the scribed widget. So here we have a very nice post and I'm gonna be making more full posts like this. Part of why I moved away from WordPress was not because of the all the features that platform offers, but if certainly there were a lot of things I did not need for right now, I like to clip and save a lot of my creative ideas, things that seem peripheral or tangential, but they are related to the main line of my work. And here's another audio one. And if you upload album art within Tumblr system, it displays nicely here and it crops it to a square one. So that's why it's just Monteclario instead of Monteclarion. And it's neat when I have an idea and I can just directly upload it musical idea after rendering. It's a big part of the process for me is getting, if you take too long to publish an idea, then it's painful because you might lose that. You need a quick 
and as close to realistically painless as possible way to get those ideas out here. And that's what it is with my creativity, looking for Lego Mass Effect or reading about Ray, Bur Ray Bradbury and looking at his shorts, stuff like that. So when you get to the bottom, notice endless scrolling. That's one of my favorite things, options in the default Tumblr dashboard. And not a lot of premium themes had this. And I have to tell you, I looked at every single premium theme Tumblr is offering. I tried the test demos for a bunch of them and then decided I'm gonna go with this one. Now, it fulfilled a lot of my expectations because and exceeded because a lot of the themes, of course, you have, I, I noticed that I had maybe one or two features designs that I like, but it was like a jigsaw puzzle. I didn't find one that had a lot of stuff that I ever like until this. So in the future, I have to remember to clip bigger images, otherwise it appears overwhelmed like that. And I might want to customize that background. So maybe not so dark, but we'll see. It's not, not a deal killer or anything. Okay, and see, endless scrolling works quite nicely. So down here, name of the site, if you click here, it goes back to the front. And what we have here that you may be interested about, this is a pretty new theme. I noticed that they posted about it just a few days ago. So it's still pretty fresh and I hope to have many more updates. So right here, Twitter, alas, my replies are broken, but social media connections, just fill this in and it appears there. And you have the search and you can add pages. Okay, so let's go to the fact. One thing, the default H2 spacing was not this generous. This is how I prefer it. You have a little more spacing. It was too tight, but I, I changed that. I need to update some of this. <laughs> uh, Zalgo FTW. And the stuff that I've liked, cool things that I've clipped that you may enjoy as well, that I didn't necessarily like enough to reblog. But again, a lot of this, I have it for my own reference and I recommend you keeping, if it's just nice and you don't feel too self-conscious about sharing it with other people, it's cool to have Tumblr because it makes it very, very lightweight to post. Just click and post. And these are my recent tweets. And I always liked Tumblr's archive view like this with thumbnails and it shows it in a condensed way there. For now, anyway, I'm testing this out. If you want to submit something to me or ask a question. I'm not sure exactly how this will go about experiments. That's why you do them to gain useful experience firsthand. Now let's go to customize. So this will show you the various sorts of options that I have set up and it shows this demo. So it's not your own content. I wish it showed it with your actual content or you could choose that. This is not specific to fluid too. It, it is meant to show different kinds of posts. Like here you have an audio one and so on and so forth. But some things aren't accurate. Like notice this, it doesn't show your user picture. It doesn't show the app until you save. So sometimes you have to make a change, save and check it out. So that, that at first led me to believe, uh oh, I did I not put in my user picture correctly because the text is right, but the picture is not. So usability wise, if that could be achieved. See right here, that's where your por portrait photo goes. And that's a description that goes in that box there. And I have a custom domain set up. That was pretty easy to do with DreamHost. Very fond of that. The theme, and normally this looks a lot friendlier, <laughs> it, but, but see, let me see. Oh, I think I'm gonna lose it all. Actually, I don't wanna do that. But normally it's simpler because then you can change all these little nitty gritties. I only have had to change the H2 header so far. And appearance, here's our simple customization options. These are very friendly. This one, you see right here, I. I if you don't enter anything, then I think it looks a little weird. So I wish it had a safer, smarter default for if you blank those out. And of course you can, I can switch back to the default YouTube, but I do like, I do like what they put together. So experimentation pages. These are probably non temporable, uh, non temporal or chronological content. And I'm importing, migrating some stuff like the frequently asked questions. And editing it here is really, really simple too. I, however, use an external editor and paste it in because this is kind of cramped. Even if you resize it, eh, that's one thing I've suggested to Tumblr themselves. This is not because of the Fluid 2 theme. This is what you always have with Tumblr right now. So it would be wiser to be able to resize it. There might be a Grease Monkey script or something. I haven't looked yet. And services, social media, la la la, funny stuff. I have my YouTube video set to automatically be added here. 
And I do hope to have Dream Journal 2 songs appear as videos. That's, I think, my next thing to do more of that director style commentary because that seems to go over really well and it's really effortless for me and enjoyable to talk about the stories behind the song that way because for a while I was doing written stories just out of my dreams. But to move it back into multimedia, that would be cool because I know some of you have requested, you really liked what was with Dream Journal 1 where it was just audio commentary and I could do audio visual commentary. <laughs> uh, humor, so just options like that. And of course, a lot of these are, are available to every Tumblr theme, but some of them, of course, the implementation, like this, these specific options, are specific to Fluid 2 and very well in- implemented, I might add. So let me go back here. Let me go right here. And within this, you can see if you just Google or use this URL, just search for Fluid 2 and it comes up. And I should post my video review link here shortly. It's, oh uh, yeah, I should state, let's see, where, where it's, you don't see the price here until you go to install it or buy it, purchase it, or I think maybe, I don't, I, I forgot what it looks like logged out, but it's, it's $19, so effectively rounded up to 20 bucks. And there are a number of the most expensive Tumblr premium themes I have seen so far go up to $50. But this one, I think so far, I have, it has made me smile. It has caused me a great deal of delight. And that is my penultimate test with these sorts of things. So it's a very, very elegant design. You can preview it with uh, their own test site. And it has this very cool, warm and warm and cool, I, I flipped them, background. You can see what it looks like that way. And play with it there. But of course, you see what it looks like for me. And going forth, we'll see how well this serves my creative purposes. So if you have any comments, because unfortunately I find YouTube unamenable, please come over to yes.torlet.com and feel free to ask here because I am with the music doing time travel and cross worlds exploration. I may not be able to reply right away or at all. But I wish to set realistic expectations for that. (laughs) And I do enjoy hearing nonetheless. Correspondence after a journey of collecting Saronic artifacts is tremendously beneficial and encouraging. And I do thank you in advance for that. So this has been my video review, spontaneous, like I enjoy rolling for the Fluid 2 theme for Tumblr. Go ahead and check out my blog at yes.torley.com. I say blog in air quotes and check out the Fluid 2 theme.